Hey, did you get diesel? Like day three. <laughs> day three. No diesel. Too expensive these days. Can't afford it. Uh, hey, package cam. Something really cool, which, where's the alternator at? There it is. Don't know what type of vehicle it's for. I know it is Chevy, uh, unfortunately. One wire alternator, uh, super small Denso style V-belt uh, pulley on there. And that is gonna go with this kit that we got by a company called Performance 670. So this company sells performance parts for these motors, these 670 cc Harbor Freight Motors, they also do like a whole bunch of different motors. I mean, the lower ones from this, you literally build this thing to 45 horsepower. They got aluminum rods, pistons, big ass carburetors, air filter kits, like major stuff. But what one thing is that they make that's really rad is a billet uh, alternator kit. So comes with all the brackets, comes with the pulley or the adapter, I should say. All the bolts, another billet bracket. Uh, some shims, another tensioner bracket, everything you need. So it goes on the flywheel side of the motor, goes right here, we actually take off this cover, uh, replace this bolt, and then the alternator hangs somewhere down here. So a few other things we gotta tear apart on this side, get rid of this like uh, ignition relay something. Pretty excited to have an alternator on here. We plan on having lights and a stereo, some underglow, some other cool stuff, so we need to make sure it stays charged for sure. So let's get it going. So if any of you are doing this at home, first thing you want to do is take off the three Phillips screws that holds the grill cover on. And then you want to take off the three 10 millimeter bolts on the actual flywheel side and take the shim out. Next up, you're going to toss your spacer on there, you know, just like that with three Allen head bolts, which are those ones right there. Got the hub on there, torque that to 18 pounds. Now we're going to get the pulley on there. There's a pulley, same thing, half inch bolts, get that tossed in there, torque that to 18 pounds. Okay, got the pulley on there and torque, that's all done. Next up, you wanna remove these two head bolts right here, 14 millimeter sockets, those are coming out next. Okay, both those two head bolts are out and you can remove the voltage regulator, two eight millimeter bolts on each side. Now we can out the billet. Voltage regulator is out. Now we got two starter bolts, 10 millimeters, one there and one there, right next to the starter that we gotta take out next. Two starter bolts out, one, two. Next up is, oh, must've been a little vibration piece for the voltage regulator. That's kind of weird, that's it's a exhaust uh, gasket material. Uh, anyways, next up is the upper bracket billet bracket that goes into those two holes. It's gonna be this guy right here. All right, so they give you two new extended head bolts and make sure you torque those down to 26. All right, upper bracket is in with the new head bolts, torque to 26. Next one is gonna be the lower bracket, which is this guy with the provider bolts. Goes where we just took those two 10 mils out and we'll be torquing that to 20. Got that guy all bolted on. Next up is the tensioner which is right here. This guy's getting bolted somewhere like this-ish, maybe. Something like that, somewhere over there. <sighs> came, came so far. Um, so when I bought this kit, it is a kit for this motor. 
it's not necessarily a kit that's supposed to go into this golf cart. Now, yeah, I probably could have done research on the forums, on the Facebook groups, and maybe figured that out. But, um, yeah, it doesn't fit. As you can see, this pass-through hole on the top of the alternator needs to go all the way up to that hole on the bracket. And, I mean, it's not even close. It just hits the frame over there. I mean, even if we notch that frame, like this side of it, it still wouldn't be able to get high enough because then it'd start hit on this side, on this frame, the pulley would get into there. So, um, probably gonna have to build a bracket that comes off of that hole, comes down off of this hole to mount to this top hole. And then we'll have to trim this bracket and make it slotted right here to be able to bolt the other hole to it so it can still be a tensioner where we can push it up and down. So it's not like a major deal. I think we'll still be okay. Take some time and make sure it's lined up correctly. But I think that we should, we should be okay. All right, back to the drawing board on this, but hey, that's how you install the Performance 670 alternator kit. What'd you do? I made all the stuff so that the motor will start. <laughs> Got some power and negative. So power wire ran to the starter and then a negative terminal, 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 terminal. all nice and uh, rainbow colored. That's fancy, fancy, fancy. So yeah, um, technically we could put the exhaust on and fire her up, but we're gonna do a couple other things first. We gotta ground the motor too. Oh yeah, we do gotta ground the motor. But that looks good. Back to the drawing board on the um, alternator kit. We'll get it figured out, kinda sucks that it just wasn't plug and play like I was hoping, but uh, I probably should have just done a little bit more research. Oh well. All right, got the head engineer on it, you know? <laughs> we don't do this all day at work at all or anything. Quick, you know, mock up. We realized that, I mean, it, it, it's really not a big deal at all. All we're gonna do is shorten this bracket itself. So maybe, you know, round it off right here, toss a hole right there. That's gonna move this whole unit up like so, actually a little bit further to where this top piece is gonna be able to be rotated and kind of be right where my finger is. And then it's just a short little bracket from the mounting hole where it should be to right there. This will be on the other side. Yeah, we're gonna, we would rotate it to this side because right now it's pushed too far in. If you look from that angle, you see it? Uh, up a little bit. Oh. You can see the end of the billet here and then the end of this, like right now it's lined way up off. directly, so. It's got to flip onto the other side so that way that it lines up. And yeah. It's way off on the belt, too. Yeah, you can tell it just from here. That's yeah. straight. So, yeah, not too bad of a fix. Um, toast. You know, at first it's like, oh, of course, you get this all done and it doesn't fit, but not a big deal. Nothing we haven't dealt with before. Seems about right. Yeah. I mean, technically, we haven't dealt with it before, but. Never custom fitted an alternator before. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Cool, no big deal. We'll continue tomorrow. It's already late, so uh, we will jump on this tomorrow, maybe. Can you get diesel? I thought you were getting diesel. <laughs> All right, back to the days where we got to do this every clip. Oh. It's it's so cold in here. Like we we just started it up, fired it up. Just finally got <laughs> diesel. <laughs> hey, what do you got there, dude? Ski garage beanie. My noggin warm. Oh, we gotta we gotta fix that though you got a little strangler don't worry about that guys that won't be on your hats when you buy them hey www.skittyscrotch.com does this come with the sweatshirts oh my god you might get that with a sweatshirt around here <laughs> that's all toast bro damn it toast anyways we got beanies we have crew necks and we have zip ups so zip up uh, with a hood so three new items on there for the winter time Jump on there, support your boys. All right, back to the golf cart. Exhaust is going on. What are you doing with these things, with the bus bars? Um, gonna make a plate for them. Okay. Mount them up here. Cool. Yeah, that's all for that. Cause we, we'll run the wire from the harness to this one and then the ground, but that's it. Cool. Cause we can't run it to anything else yet. And then I think you're also gonna tackle the bracket needed for the alternator. I am going to put the exhaust on, which will take eight seconds. I would like to also mess around with the throttle cable and possibly get that figured out. So I'm gonna look at that. And there's something else on the docket that I was gonna do. 
steering box. It's gonna be fun. Though. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. I'm gonna have to take the whole thing out, so that kind of sucks. But I might try to do it with it in there. We'll see. Anyways, when I come to that, we'll figure that out. Uh, I'll probably toss this on real quick too. So a couple things to work on tonight. Let's get it going. Good boy. All right, I got the throttle fixed. Uh, actually, buddy, can you help me out and go full throttle real quick? Hey, what did you say? I know, just real quick. We gotta show the show the tubes. Full throttle, and I can't push it anymore. Two step, so perfect. And it's loose right now at uh, when it's off. All right, so that's good, and that's fixed. Carlton is still working down here. Bro, it's done. Look. Oh, look at that! Just kidding, I need to drill another hole. Drill another hole and round off the square. No, I'm gonna leave it like that. <laughs> that looks good though, dude. Yeah. And it's, Hell not, yeah. it's not any lower than the motor. And then, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's awesome. This should still work. Yeah, in theory, right? Keyword should. Dude, but that I looks it, good. I made it so that you can get in here. Yeah, yeah, for the bolt. But. I think I need to trim a little bit up. Yeah, it looks like it's there. just barely hitting it, but not much. Just to make it a little bit better because it's not exactly on this hole perfect. Yeah, but that's rad, dude. I'm, I'm actually happy that it sits higher than the frame itself, you know? Well, than the camera. I'm debating break. on, I might just modify this plate a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. Round it. Instead of going up there because that's yeah, going to be a pain. Yeah, that's all material on the frame, so that's good. I'll make Hell it yeah. cool. I'll make it like a long. That's rad. I'm glad we were able to make that work. It worked in our head last night when we were talking about it, and now it's working on paper. Well, this isn't paper. Well, it worked on paper. Whipped on paper, and <laughs> now it's working on the cart. Yeah, now it's actually working. Sweet. We want that we Carlton got her all finished up. New upper bracket. Revised the lower bracket. Bang! There it is. Alternator is all installed. Pretty sweet. I'm actually pumped on that. That's cool. Now I'm doing the fun part. Just dropped the rack to replace this joint. So a lot of fun, but it's got to get done. Working on that, and Carlton is working on wiring up the alternator and wiring up the bus bars and the, and the engine ground and testing the accessory and possibly firing the night all right so you can see why we're replacing this thing just completely joint is completely worn out gotta rip that guy off there and get it replaced yeah. <laughs> Up. <laughs> I always forget to turn it back up after I turn it off. Oh, hey, did we talk about our rad safety glasses, dude? Check it out. I talked about mine, I thought. Did you? Yeah, look at mine. I'm pretty sick. 
Uh, we got matchy matchy brand ones, but not a uh, not style. Uh, yeah, heat waves. To be fair, I mean, let's show. Should we show them our uh, selective? <laughs> Here you go. Real see, really see through those. Um, these are my favorite. I love these. Yeah, these so are sometimes you know, when you're not out here, I put these on while I'm working. Really? Yeah, By yourself? Jam with these on, dude. <laughs> you literally cannot see out of them. Oh man! All right, finally finished this thing. Might have cursed a lot of times, but uh, she's done. I got hit with a few things. Yeah, threw some stuff at Carlton. So, unfortunately, there still is a little bit of play, but it's not as bad as it was. If you look at that joint. So, right here, you can see that moving. That's this much play in the wheel. So, way better. Uh, pretty happy about that. Hopefully, it doesn't... Hopefully it's not aggressive, like you have to have a workout in to be able to steer the thing when we're on the road. Right now in the air, it kind of feels that way, but I think it's gonna be different when we're moving and it should be a lot easier. All right, that's all finished. Carlton's finishing up the wiring right now. And what are we doing after that? Are we doing the bus bars before we fire this thing or? I don't think so, because I'll have to make a plate. Cut. And then wire and everything, so. Cool. We can just do it later. Cool. So the plan right now is you guys are gonna see this thing fire up before the video video's over with. Um, he got the power wires done. He got the chassis negative. Now he's doing the engine negative. So engine negative to the chassis. And we have the key. So we're ready to fire it up. Oh, before we do that though. Oh, and we don't have any gas. Oh yeah, you're right. We got a bunch of 110 gonna run on some 110 let's go let's fire it up dude i'm gonna get the can i get the gas tank in now uh, and yeah. plumb up the fuel tank all right so i'm gonna get the fuel tank in and get it plumbed in the motor Dude, it's coming out the Stop. bottom. <clears throat> okay, supposedly it takes two quarts. Uh, we got fuel in it, as you saw in the time lapse. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> time lapse shut off. Uh, ran to the good old uh, 76 station. They didn't sell oil there. They did. You thought about it? I went in. No, I went inside and looked at it. It was like 10.99. So I thought, you know what? We gotta have enough out here. <laughs> and guess what? We got four quarts of this stuff, so it'll work. But uh, yeah, the plan is to fire this thing up. Carlton got the tack all hooked up. Well, you can show them, but come to find out, it's a battery powered tack. Yeah, I didn't know that when I bought it. It was cheap, it was 15 bucks. I was thinking that it was not battery powered. That's not gonna last long, because I don't like Hopefully that. Hopefully it does work. Yeah, I mean, is it showing zero right now? Yeah. All right, cool. So, so far it's good. Yeah. It does say it takes a while once you're cranking and whatnot because the fuel pump's got to prime and fill up the carb, obviously. We will get back to you guys in about five minutes when we're ready to fire it up. All right. So, um, yeah, we're ready to roll. Carlton's going to keep an eye on RPM. I'm going to kind of keep an eye on leaks. The deal is you're supposed to let it run for 10 minutes at 2000 RPM. We can't really find the idle screw right now because we're, we're, I'm impatient. So I'm just ready to roll. So I'll just hold the throttle for 10 minutes. Don't matter to me. And yeah, that's it. You ready? Sure. It's going to take a while to crank, but that's fine. Let's do it.
RPM. Yeah. So far, so good. We're about two minutes into it. Uh, the noise is good. I like that it's kind of quiet. Carlton's gonna check to see if uh, the alternator's charging. 70 amps, so I don't know if you would see it or not. So what it smells like. That's me trying to stay steady with one hand. Too high? and breaking it in. Happy it runs, everything runs good. So do this break in and then uh, reevaluate after that. All right, we just hit our 10 minutes. So let off the throttle and we're gonna see if she idles at all. We wanna check the RPM. Stay tuned for what's next. Let's get this thing finished up.